All right, so that's a sago palm, which I'm probably gonna get rid of. They're super poisonous to animals. This is an orange mint, smells heavenly. That's a hibiscus. Now down there, I've got a mint in that pot where the raised bed is. That's a strawberry mint, it smells amazing. I wanna put all my fruity mints together. This is a mix. This is an overwintered container that I had to pull things out of and put things into. So this is new garden sage from this year. This is thyme from last year. This is uh, Tulsi basil. This is a um, plant. What is this? Okay. Oh, and I put tags in here saying where I got them and when. So this plant is a, it's like a, it's a variegated oregano. It might be Cuban. I'm not even sure. But, um, but it's, it's really thick leaved. It's kind of fuzzy and it looks amazing. So this thing was trying to survive when it got cold last year because I got it last year. So I took it out and I took it inside and I kept this thing alive throughout the winter. And it was like a little plant. And I, so I, um, I brought it out, I hardened it off so that it was used to the sun and I put it in here and it has just gone crazy. And it's so pretty. I'm a sucker for variegated plants. Okay, this is a mix too. This is Oregano Lavender. Oops, there's my little plant tag that fell. Um, I've got Mexican Mint in here which I'm looking for. I think that's, no, that's not that one. That's chocolate mint, I think. All right, this is calendula. This is a red buff calendula. This is an MV, oh, this is an MV Zinnia. This one's gonna be green. And this one's a lot taller than that one. So see, I might be right. It just needs more sun over there. Um, there's a Mexican mint in here. I think that's a Mexican mint. It's just teeny tiny. Um, this is more oregano lavender. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's that's like a, that might be a spearmint. I'm not sure. It's a mint. It's a chocolate mint. It's a something. This is Zenderella Peach Zinnia. I'm super excited about these. These are pretty. This is a rosemary. Uh, I think it's Tuscan Blue. This I got this last year. This one overwintered. Rosemary absolutely overwinters here. This is Celosia. This is, uh, its name is Flamingo. It's supposed to be a really beautiful pink. And I got that because my mom loves flamingos. So I've got Celosia in a bunch of different places here. This is a palm that I got from Bill's Produce just because I like the way the trunk grows, which you can't see. This is a mint, it's cat mint maybe, lemon. Oh, that smells lemony. So that's like a lemon mint, might be lemon balm. Oh, wait a minute. I think this is the Tusca blue rosemary. All right, so I've got like three different kinds of rosemaries and I can't remember which one is which, but this one's got the little flower, so that might be. That's a rosemary too. Rosemary is really good to have in the garden to help deter insects, to help attract pollinators. So that's all of that. And then I'll do another video for the greenhouse.